also asked the White House to uh, make that request of the European Union. The European Union has also acted, uh, but we want to broaden those sanctions and get the entire world community involved. My hope is that uh, this would isolate uh, the Assad regime uh, to realize they've got to recognize that the power that the Syrian people have and allow the Syrian people to govern their own, dem their own destiny through a democracy in Syria. Have you heard an explanation as to why U.S. officials have not made any efforts to evacuate people from Syria at this time? Okay. Do you happen to have a picture, sir, of uh, Sarah? We can. Right. We can have a stand on the side. Seven o'clock. We also reiterate that we support the democratic aspirations of people in all countries in the Middle East. Including Yemen, Bahrain, and Libya, uh, and we also call on the U.S. government to continue to support these, the democratic aspirations of these people. Ahmad, your last name, please. A L O U H. And that's pronounced. Hello. Hello. These Sarah's siblings here, sisters and brothers. Yes. Yeah. I have uh, four kids, Sarah and. Uh, the two, and they have Wyatt and uh, Hattie. Um, and your wife? Big size family. My wife, uh, does Sam. She, does she care to comment at all? <laughs> yeah. She might not. Of course, I'm caring. Care, uh, about everybody, not uh, uh, about my children. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the kids over there, I want to add something. Before the people go on the street uh, in Syria, uh, exactly, and they, uh, they took about 25 kids from their classroom and they put them under the two chairs and some of kids, uh, some of kids uh, get back to their parents, their bodies, and they took their nails off. They are about 10 years and maybe 11 years old. Maybe some of them of my daughter's classroom. That's very, very sad to me. That's it. So they were torturing the children? Yeah, I'm sure about that. And you can find the video and the pictures on YouTube or any website. Mom, may, may we have the correct spelling of your first name? W-I-S-A-M. W-A? W-I-S-A-M. And was it married? Yeah. Okay. With some? Yeah. Okay. Now, is it difficult for you to see your children here and your other daughter just the thought of her having her over there? Of course. Because uh, they ask about her every day. <coughs> How has it affected their normal life here in Michigan? It's really sad, you know. Because you, when you see the people are killed, and even the women, the women and kids, it's. I can't imagine that having a, an ice spot in the world. I live in Flint, Michigan. Flint? I'm a, a registered pharmacist. Oh. Yeah. 